I'm Larry Krieg. Welcome to Travel by Train in Tokyo, part of my Japan Travel Trips in Five Minutes series. Tokyo is a vibrant, fascinating, fast-paced city that's safe and easy for visitors to get around. And getting around Tokyo is quickest and easiest by train. But the complexity of the dense rail network can be confusing. Most people arriving in Japan land at Narita Airport and take East Japan Railway's Narita Express into the city. Very likely you'll get off at Tokyo's main station where Narita Express comes into the lowest level underground. The 1914 much renovated station has tracks on five levels. From the 1,480 foot observation deck of the Tokyo Sky Tree, the city stretches farther than the eye can see at 38 million souls, the largest metropolis on the planet. But there are mobile apps to help. Let's plan a Tokyo trip between Shibuya and Tokyo Main Station. The Japanese are not lagging in developing mobile software. Hitachi's Hyperdia is a great free app for planning trips in Japan using any mode. We get five results. Here's the simplest. Use the Yamanote line and there are no transfers. At 23 minutes, it's not the quickest. It's on JR, so your rail pass works. The municipal subway is five minutes quicker, but requires a transfer. At Asakusa Mitsuke, with only two minutes to get to the right platform. Great for regular riders, but I couldn't manage it in two minutes when I tried this route. So let's take a second look at the Yamanote line, Tokyo's steel inner beltway. You can think of the Yamanote as a circle around downtown Tokyo, with the Chuo, or central line, through the middle east and west. The Yamanote connects six major centers of downtown Tokyo, with a total of 29 stations in all. Tokyo Main, Shinagawa, Shibuya, Shinjuku, Ikebukuro, and Ueno. East Japan Railway has a useful free mobile app with info about all its routes, but the Yamanote line is so important it gets a special section showing the location of all trains on the circular route. This shows your clockwise trains. Click a train and see the temperature and degree of crowding in each of its 11 cars. Let's get on a Yamanote train at Shinjuku, said to be the busiest station in the world. If you have a rail pass, show it at the staffed window. If not, use an IC tap card or single ride ticket at one of the barrier gates. Careful, people go in both directions through these gates. In this hallway, we are under tracks serving multiple rail lines. Each is color-coded. Yamanote is light green. All signs show Japanese, English, and color. So look for the light green and match it with the color over the stairs or escalator to the tracks in any station. The platform is a scene of orderly chaos. As our Yamanote train arrives, notice Japanese passengers lining up behind the white painted lines. Follow their lead. The lines are where the train doors will open. Double check the train. Yes, it has light green stripes. Yamanote. Two lines form at each door to let the parting passengers out. No disorderly crowding in Japanese stations. Inside, you'll often have to stand. Almost everybody has a smartphone in their face while traveling, whether riding, boarding, or getting off. All stations are announced very clearly in Japanese and English, including transfer options. We have arrived at Ebiso Station, where the platform is below the concourse. We'll take the escalator up, but since we're not in a hurry, we'll get in line on the left-hand side. Important tip, don't stand on the right. That's left open for people in a hurry. Whenever you leave a station in Japan, you must either show your rail pass, insert your ticket at a gate, or tap out with your card. So now you've arrived in Tokyo, planned a trip, 
and taken the Yamanote Beltway from one station to another. Of course, I'll show you more about travel by train in Japan in other 5-Minute Japan Rail Tip videos. This is Larry Krieg. Thanks for watching.